All right, y'all. We, hey, hey. Lil Dirk. Lil Dirk stupid ass in chat. <laughs> nigga stupid. Lil Dirk is a big dummy. Lil Dirk is a big dummy. I mean, I'm going to tell you something, uh, Dirk. Uh, Dirk, you an idiot, bro. Your homeboy, King Von, got killed because he couldn't keep his hands to himself. And then before King Von got shot, they had told him, man, on Instagram, we going to shoot you. He said, he, he, he you know, Instagram talking trash. He told me he was going to beat him up. And they said, we going to shoot you. And they shot him. So what you mad for? They run an A-man slide for Vaughn. Slide now. Vaughn, Vaughn bought it on his seventh. Vaughn's a serial killer. It ain't like they killed a good person. And, and they make, and make it so bad. I like King Vaughn. I like him. I think King Vaughn was a waste of talent. Just like Tupac. That was a waste of talent. King Von was a real waste of talent. He had, he, he I, I like him way better than Dirk. I don't even like Dirk. Dirk, he got like one song that's good to me, the one he did with Drake, but I actually like King Von. But at the same time, King Von got what he deserved. He got what he deserved. For all here, mess with people. And then he's he so stupid, he beefing with um, Quando Rondo over NBA Youngboy. NBA Youngboy's an idiot. Don't get me wrong, he got $100 million, but you could be $100 million strong and still be stupid. And they arguing over some little girl who looked like a mosquito. This whole thing started over, over this little ugly girl. They arguing over, these niggas got millions of dollars. They rich and famous. Get any woman they want, and they arguing over this little, this little ugly girl. Look like, look, look like, look like a damn um, salamander. Nigga, in the, nigga laying in the dirt over the girl, and it ain't her fault. These niggas, nigga, laying in the dirt over a girl that look like, like, like a damn Chi Chi bird. And she all somewhere getting bent over by another nigga. NBA young boy got about 57 kids. So he really wasn't studying that woman. And then, uh, Quando Rondo gonna take up, uh, 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 uh NBA young boy. NBA young boy's a real idiot, bro. The dude's a weirdo. NBA young boy should have fought his own battle. It's stupid. King Von had all kinds of women's. All of them had all kinds of uh, hood rats on their team. And y'all and y'all with the wall for that girl. And it ain't her fault. It ain't her fault that she funny looking. It ain't her fault that that, that, uh, that boy got killed. It's their fault. Because as an older man, you, you realize a woman ain't worth fighting over, arguing over, none of that. Let her go. Women are number men three to one. A woman outnumber a man three to one. I promise you, you will, you will find you another one. You don't need them. And guess what? All them niggas had multiple women on their team, and they fighting over some stupid stuff. And then what's even more sad, Quando Rondo and King Von used to be friends. You got videos of them in the, you got videos of them in the same house chilling, chilling, hanging out, and y'all fall out for what? Some stupid. All y'all niggas got money on top of money, rich and famous, and y'all choose to do stupid stuff, fighting and shooting each other. And then, and then they had trick, oh, oh, little Dirk's little stupid ass, slide for Vaughn. Yeah, you can slide your ass right to a damn jail cell for Vaughn. Because I bet, I guarantee you, if King Vaughn could talk right now, he would have told you, hey, man, let it go. It ain't even worth it. Let it go. Let it go. And little Dirk, you are you an idiot, bro. You 32 years old. You might spend the rest of your life in prison. And then guess what? You put yourself in prison. You was rich. You had millions of dollars in the bank. You got a, a, a so-called fiance you was getting ready to marry. And you got kids. And now you gonna leave your family out on the street. Your 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 wife, she finna get uh, her legs folded up by another nigga. Yo, 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 your kids. They have to be without you because you want to slide for, 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 for King Von, dumbass. King Von, he left his he left his kids. He left his family out here because he want to be stupid. He want to be stupid. He want to be stupid. So guess what, bro? You can sit in jail. You around here trying to pretend like you a Muslim, like you didn't change your life. And maybe you did change your life, but guess what? You still spill blood. Blood, the blood is crying out for justice. And guess what? You finna do some time, stupid boy. 
You can do some time, dummy. And then King Von's a serial killer. King Von killed a girl. Them niggas are killed. King Von killed by seven, eight people. And they and the FBI was finna get him for being a serial killer. So he dead now. So, so the FBI, they left King Von alone. And now they own Lil Dirt, a.k.a. Big Dummy. That's your name. You, you went from Lil Dirt to Big Dummy. You a big dummy, boy. You stupid. You stupid. And I'm going to tell you who I think next go to prison. Boosie. Boosie. Don't forget, Boosie rock around here with a damn pistol in his damn waistline, knowing he a, a, a damn felon out here in California, and they saw his stupid ass walking with a pistol. Boosie want to be tough so bad. Boosie, you ain't tough, boy. You a, you a pussy. You a pussy, Boosie. I don't think you got some money to pay people to kill folk. You got you had that little boy, Marlo Mike, the little boy, 14, 15 years old, killing people for you, and then you got that boy in jail to rot. You all and you said in the interview before in the interview before you got caught up, you say you love to take young boys and have them take the heat for you while you out here committing crimes. You I don't understand. Boosie. And I think Boosie had Diddy parties too. You might be going to jail for them Diddy parties too. Cause Boosie, he a little freak. Boosie get on Instagram. He had women show that, show that, show that Wasi. That Wasi, that, that, that U-S-S-Y. He had women go and show their vaginas on screen and play with themselves. And then he sent them cash apps. He would have had a grown woman give his son uh, brain surgery. That boy, like 12, 13 years old, getting brain surgery from a grown woman. So that, that, that's, that's really child molestation. And you do all kinds of freaky stuff and have all these freaky parties. Don't forget, Boots is on the Breakfast Club show. He have, he had freaky parties at his house too in Atlanta because he had told Angela Yee if you want to come out party, you got to let your titties out. She's like, oh, hell no. He, he said, any woman come to my party, she got to let her titties out. The only woman exempt from that is my mama. He said, even his auntie, she got to come there and let her titties out. That's the kind of party Boosie had. And don't forget, Boosie said, uh, we're down in New York City with P. Diddy. And that song, Wipe Me Down. And he won't say nothing bad about P. Diddy because you know why? He was at Diddy party. Boosie probably going to jail. For the, he probably, if he don't go to jail for the Diddy party, he going to jail for having that weapon. He thought he had got off, but then he, he picked the case back up. So Boosie going to jail for that weapon, okay? And now Lil Dirk, a.k.a. Big Dummy, he going, to, he going to jail. Probably for the rest of your life, and I don't feel sorry for one for none of these niggas. You got folks out here work every day. They try, to, they try to make ends meet. These niggas rich. They ain't got to worry about nothing. All they do is sit around all day smoking reefer, drinking cough syrup, smashing women, and just living. Instead of going somewhere well and acting like you got some sense, y'all out here putting hits on people, murders for hire. And you know what? And, and, and speaking of and, and murder for hire, it don't make no sense. Only black people do that. You don't, you don't see country music artists doing that. You don't see Garth Brooks around here putting hits on people and killing people. Only black people, only rappers. Only rappers do that stupid stuff. Around here putting and murdering people. Beating people up. Raping, raping people. It's stupid. It's very dumb. Like I say, uh, little dirt, you can sit your little dumb ass down for the rest of your life. And it's, it's and it's sad, but it's not sad. It's funny, but it's sad. But you but you deserve it. You deserve it. You give me like I did. It was a billion. Dollars. You give me a billion dollars. You watch what I do. I go build me a subdivision for my whole family, and we gonna go somewhere and chill. We ain't finna ball nobody. We ain't raping nobody. We ain't poisoning nobody. Y'all do know that Jamie Foxx just came out said the reason he almost died because Diddy poisoned him. But then I think on, on, on another occasion. Diddy and his homeboys had beat him up too. They just, they, these black folks, y'all, we just do too much. We do too much. It's stupid and it's, it ain't embarrassing because that's not me, but it's kind of embarrassing to show what black people do when they, when they get little money. Instead of going somewhere and just enjoying your life, being happy, thanking God for your blessing. And, 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 may, and, and, may, and maybe it wasn't God that blessed you. Maybe it was the devil. I don't know. But still, instead of going somewhere thanking God for what you got, y'all want to sit around here and just uh, commit crimes. 
like I say, bro, it's, 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 your, it's your fault. 